Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. So Nevis is there, parked to be over in that car park. And today I'm in a place called Tayport. I'm in a bit called the Tentsmuir National Nature Reserve. And it's literally me, a phone, which is my iPhone 11, camera, handheld. And we're just gonna go for a walk and see what we can see because it's uh, middle of the day. I'm not even dressed properly, I'm, I'm literally joggies and a pair of vans so I hope I'm recording this properly I'm using I'm using the back camera on the phone just to test it out actually for vlogging because it's so light and easy to carry and apparently it's shooting in 4k so um, and I also want to check out the stabilization on the phone so it's a little bit of a test run I've not long had this phone and I've never used it for vlogging or anything like that so a wee bit of a test run as well so I thought I would just take you out for a wee wander with me this is absolutely beautiful forest I'm on the sort of um, ranger track just now, as you can see. But all the way around me, we've just, we're just surrounded. Absolutely surrounded by pines. And it's gorgeous. So, quite excited to see. You can hear loads of birds. So I might get some wildlife as well today. But uh, who knows, I might get nothing. I just really wanted to go for a walk after that. Um, if anyone follows me on Instagram, you might have read my stories from last night. And I had my, there was a picture of me with my hair standing on end. So that was taken on a beach in Lunan Bay last night. I had a bit of a scary encounter, but I had to run like the clappers all the way back to the campsite because apparently, which I'm glad I didn't know this at the time, but I Googled it when I got back. Uh, if your hair stands on end and we were in the middle of a thunderstorm, you're pretty much het <laughs> for the lightning to get you. So I'm really glad that I ran and didn't crouch into a position like you're supposed to do. <laughs> But um, yeah, I ran like the wind. Near death experience was not pleasant. There's a wee track, I think it veers off here. I think there's a lock around here as well. But let's just go see what we can see. Waterfall. I'm waiting. I'm a wee bit further up now, but I'm waiting to see if he comes back out again. He was tiny. He was so tiny. He just sort of like ran out on the path in front of me and then saw me and then ran away again. Oh, that'd have been so good. Anyway, it's 21 degrees, so it's tap tap, kind of. Um, I'm going down a different route now. I'm back on the main path, as you can see. And I'm going down a bit called Morton Locks Trail. So maybe we'll get to see a lock at some point. I've been down here before. Nah, he's not come back out. I've been down here before with my sister and it's a lovely walk. So hopefully, I'm hoping to see some red squirrels or other kind of wildlife, like the wee water vole. He was lovely and I had my camera on me, but uh, he was just far too fast to catch him. He can of be far from the locks now. the video but I don't think you can see it. There are hundreds of dragonflies just behind me here. There's one there. None of them will sit still for a picture. <laughs> They're absolutely gorgeous. They're bright red so they look amazing but I'm trying to walk on the grass so don't hear me. But there's hundreds of them just dancing about like little fairies. There's another wee path through there. I must really like the bracken if that's where they're hanging out. If I'd be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea what I want to shoot today. Hang on, there's a wee seat here. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm here to shoot. I photograph a lot of different things in my day job. And when I'm out shooting landscapes, I'm also shooting a lot of different things. It's not always just trees and sunsets and sunrises. Sometimes it's just about 
kind of tuning into what you're doing and where you are and what you can see. And that could be, I mean, you might set out to go and get a beautiful forest scene and somewhere along the way you might find a Highland Coo and that becomes your subject. So it's not really, I think they should probably change the word landscape to nature photographers. So you're kind of encompassing everything that's in that. Watch those dragonflies had settled in. I'd love to try and get a picture of a dragonfly because it's really nicely backlit back there, but they're not having any yet, so we'll just keep going. <laughs> That is exactly what I'm talking about down there. The little family of fungi. How awesome is that? And it's not backlit by any means, but behind there, just over behind my shoulder there, that's backlit. So it gives us beautiful glow in the background. So happy that I found these, they're absolutely gorgeous. So for this photograph, I shot in a portrait orientation and I was shooting at 200th of a second, F4 and ISO 400, because it is pretty dark down there getting windy. I'm so happy that's an awesome shot. I mean you're going to get stuff like that in woodland it's pretty much guaranteed but to get that beautiful sort of like glow in the back as well that just made it look spectacular. Anyway let's see what else we can find. Look at all those mushrooms. Lots. We must be coming into mushroom territory now. This place is awesome. I'm trying to be very quiet. There's another bird hide just there. Um, and I'm not sure if there's somebody up there just now, but I'm trying to be quiet. Might actually see some birds down here, but unfortunately I've only got a 105 millimeter lens with me. So I'm not going to get any close up photos of birds here. Not with this lens anyway. What a fantastic viewpoint. I think I'm going to sit here a few minutes and just see what I can see. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a location to come back to, especially if you're into wildlife photography. That is gorgeous up there and the viewpoint is amazing. Unfortunately it's far too bright for me to be shooting anything over there. I could make out about six or seven different types of birds. Um, don't know what they are. Recognise the baby swans, that was about it. Really need to brush up. I should have had my bird book with me. I do have one. <laughs> so I'm definitely getting that autumn feeling here. The leaves are falling about me just now. So I think we're just going to continue on the woodland walk and see what else we can find. This is exactly what I mean when I say keep your eyes peeled. I'm standing below a tree branch just now and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiny little mushrooms grown out of it. Actual mushrooms grown out of a branch. I have never seen that before in my life. And it has been backlit by this sun over here. It's absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I've just put it on the bureau so you can have a look at it. But what an incredible find. I'm just going to perch you on this fence for two seconds. There's so many people about just now. It's really difficult to actually get any vlogging done. But the photograph that I got of the, the sort of fungi on the tree branch, I'll show you just now. Uh, I was shooting at 20th of a second. So super steady hands. Um, F4 and ISO 400. But... I've never seen anything like that. Have you guys seen that before? Actual, like, mushrooms grown on a branch. I've seen them on the ground, but never on a branch. In a little cluster like that. What an amazing, amazing find. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram recently using, like, artificial light to 
to light their, the, the fungi that they find. And I think it looks amazing and it's completely inspired me today. It must have been in the back of my head somewhere today. Because that's all I seem to be shooting. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. See, see, nature photographers. That's what we are. I think I'm coming to the end of the trail. Which is a shame because I'm having such good fun today. Have you ever seen Princess Mononoke, the Studio Ghibli film? They're tree spirits. That's what they look like. Anyway, right, so I think I'm coming to the end of the trail. I've got a wee bit of luck coming up. I'm going to stop there. But to get those kind of images, you really need to go right into the depths of the woodland. Being on the tracks like this, like you're not going to get any of those kind of shots out here because you're kind of looking at the same thing all the way around. And it's not until you kind of go off the beaten, beaten track, safely of course. I mean, it has to be a proper track. Don't just like go wandering about <laughs> um, and fall down a big hole somewhere. Or into some bogland. I mean, the light is essentially rubbish today, but it's dappled enough that it's allowed me to get two beautiful photographs of mushrooms. Did not expect that. As I told you at the start of the vlog that your subject can be anything when you're doing this sort of photography. And that pretty much nails my point. This is what you'll get here. Ospreys, that'd be quite cool to see. Never heard of a widgeon before, that's new. A little greb, I'm sure, some, I'm sure someone's called me that. And kingfishers, I think that's what those two branches down there would be quite cool to catch some kingfishers. What a place, this is awesome. Oh, you know me, I love a detour. I think that's the trail done. I think we're going to head back to the van and get a coffee. Maybe a wee scone. <laughs> there is Nevis' little roof. It's like a wee beacon <laughs> summoning me back for coffee and scones. Well, I think that's the end of the trail. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a, it's only taken me like 40 minutes, I think, to get around that one. The other one was a little bit longer, but still awesome fun. I think there's more locks up that way, um, but I don't have time to do them today. So I'm going to meet my sister in Dundee. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.